days after one of the strongest earthquakes in Taiwan's recorded history, the damage is relatively light. This building near the epicenter in eastern Taiwan is one of just a few that's beyond salvaging, and all but one of its occupants have survived. Engineers say Taiwan's building codes are to thank for that. The last time an earthquake of similar strength hit Taiwan, September 21, 1999, over 2,000 people died. It was a moment of national trauma. In Taiwan, the very date, 921, still has the kind of horrific connotations dates like 911 have in other countries. The event triggered serious changes to regulations and retrofitting projects. This time, most of the confirmed deaths are the result of rock slides, not building collapses. And the buildings that did collapse this time were built before the newer rules. Mandates like more robust steel bars appear to have saved lives. Still, engineers say, contractors may be tempted to cut corners. But it's older buildings without proper reinforcements that are especially at risk. Historic buildings, including listed heritage sites, suffered significant damage. At this Japanese colonial era temple, 17 kilometers from the epicenter, sacred statues have shattered, and wooden framing has come loose. At this historic sugar factory in Taichung, a smokestack already awaiting repair now needs fast action to fix new cracks and fissures. In all, 59 sites under various levels of protection need repairs and are awaiting special government funding. Taiwan has made important progress on earthquake preparedness in the last 25 years. But when it comes to older buildings especially, the country is still not immune to heavy damage. Joseph Wu and John Van Trieste for Taiwan Plus.